everyone and welcome to Just Peachy. Before we start our show tonight, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Evian, Live Young, for sponsoring the show. Tonight we have Olympia, Olympian triathlon champion, Charlie Widmore. We also have a famous music video producer, Elliot Shorey, and the survivor of the terrible boat crash, Joe Clements. Our first guest is a renowned director of music videos. He has created many music videos for small upcoming bands. Ladies and gentlemen, Elliot Shorey. Now before we get talking to Elliot, let's have a quick look at his new music video, Chin Up Son by The Silver Medals. Trust in me. an amazing video. So Elliot, what inspired you to make this video? Uh, myself really. Um, I've worked with um, many small bands to help them get off their feet like uh, One Direction and I've helped with bigger people sort of like uh, Ed Sheeran, Lady Gaga and then that guy was in there, oh yeah Kanye West, I've worked with him as well and uh, I just sort of when I saw the band coming out from South End I, I wanted to help them really and get them up off their feet. So what was it like working with this new upcoming band and how did you find them? Uh, I, I sort of just found them on YouTube really, um, but they didn't have much input into the video. I, they just sort of let me be me and uh, go there and do what I want to have my own vision. And um, so I didn't have much input with the band themselves, they just sort of let me do my thing. And how did you create this 2000 feel to this song? Um, well again, like uh, I've worked with all these amazing people and uh, they've worked with me and I don't know I just sort of when, I, when I'm on the set it, it comes to me there and I just sort of did what went with the song I feel. And last of all what inspires you to create music videos in the first place? Oh, I've, I've loved music from a, from a young age um, since I was about six and uh, when I was uh, a young age about 16 my uh, parents bought me a music studio and I uh, couldn't play much music so I uh, started to get bands in and record them and make videos of them and things like that and uh, that's sort of where it went. Um, well it's been very interesting talking to you Elliot and from our sponsors Evian we'd like to give you your free complimentary Evian bottle. Pass it down. <laughs> has won six triathlons over his career. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Charlie Whitmore. Hi, mm. oh, you all right? Yeah, sorry about the little mess up at the beginning. It's all right, no problem. We all get mistakes. <laughs> so before we start, let's have a look at Charlie's um, documentary that he made, The Iron Man Lanzarote. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit. So Charlie, what made you want to be a triathlete? Um. There were, there, were little, uh, there were little races going on and uh, like little duathlons, so I did that as a kid. And uh, like when I went to high school, they did like this massive, this massive race there. So a lot of people said, I'll do it in teams and stuff like that. But I wanted to test it out for myself and do all three sports. And um, ended up winning the, the actual race at the school. So then after that, when I left school, I wanted to do a bit more, a bit more uh, intense races. And how many competitions have you been in? And how old were you when you first started? Started when I was around uh, 13, 14. And uh, races, God, there's so many, I'd say over 50. That's a lot of competitions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And do you have an inspiration? Inspiration. Uh, I would say my dad, because he's done about 10 Ironman now, all over the world. Um, but I started the, the whole triathlon stuff, so uh, I'm, I'd, I'd say my dad. Let's go. Let's so go. can you tell us a little bit more about this Ironman Ironman. Ironman. So uh, it's a 3.8-kilometre uh, swim, and then a 145k bike ride, and then uh, a full marathon. And you've got to do it all under 17 hours. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and what are your plans for the future? Um, plans for the future? I'd say I'd love to go to the Olympics in 2020. Um, but we'll see. I'd, I'd like to do a full, a full distance like my dad, like in the Ironman and stuff like that. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Well, thank you for joining us, Charlie. And the same as before, here's your free bottle of Evian Live Young. Cheers, thank you very much. <laughs> Next up, we have a very interesting story to tell. There was a boat crash that took place a few months ago. 400 people were on that ship, and sadly, only seven, 67 people survived. But here today, ladies and gentlemen, is first mate, Joe Clements. So Joe, how did you survive this? Well, I've been a sailor for seven years now. I sailed for seven years under the Hail Mary and this was my first time solo as a first mate. Unfortunately, when the ship struck a reef, not many of the people on board knew what to do. It went down before anyone else could get on. Oh. Luckily for me, I snagged onto a bit of cargo. Went unconscious, woke up two days later on a desert island. The only way that I survived was... was eating just rotten flesh from sea turtles. Gosh. Boiling seawater. Sounds tough. So, what did you eat? Was there any food on this island? No food whatsoever. So, what did you do? Did you fish? Did you? Uh, there were trees on the island, so I cut some down, made makeshift primitive spheres, hunted fish, and when the fish weren't in the water, I'd just peel away bits of rotten turtle flesh and eat that. Was that all you ate? Rotten turtle flesh? Mainly. So, how did you get off the island? Where did help come from? Well, the thing was, I didn't realise that the route that we were sailing was also used by rum smugglers. So, after a while, uh, a crew came along. I asked for passage. They gave it to me. I had a job there for a month and was then brought back. What about your family when you got home? Were they pleased to see you? Not really. Oh. Well, <laughs> that is a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. But you do have an amazing story to tell. And as thank you, I'm sorry I can't give you any more, but here is your free Evian bottle. Thank you. And that is it for today's show. Join us next week, we'll be talking to another bunch of extraordinary people with amazing stories to tell. But until next time, see you later, Peaches.